Well, hello everybody. How's everybody doing on this fine sh Sabbath? Who's this? Who's that? Is that Duke? What are you doing, Duke? Finally, this is a blessing. Finish the fence. Well, I still have to put the gate in. I'll put the gate in right here. Let's see here. Right there. For the garden down there. The hens, or at least one of them, continually jumps that little fence and always lands up over here. Well, now if they jump, they land over here and they're not getting over this. That's a six foot, seven foot fence down there and six foot fence here. She's not getting over that. And there are my girls. There, you know who that is, right? You know who that is? That's Rusta. That's Rusta. El Rusta. <laughs> He's cool. I can let him out and not worry about him. Now that big one right there, that's Titus. Look at the size of that boy. He protects everybody. And these are all hens. All the rest of them are all hens. 17 of them. 17 hens. These are bucking around and doing their thing and doing their thing. I got to do something with that back fence back there, though. That ain't gonna work. What you doing? What you doing, El Rusta? What you doing, buddy? Hmm? What you doing, buddy? Hmm? You okay? You okay? You all right? Sure love you. Hey. El Rusta. <laughs> Pretty funny. But now, I've been working on the, the soil here. Down here, I got melons growing. I planted them in spring. Nothing came up. Put all this chicken manure down here. And I'm actually starting to see melons come out. Which is a good thing. Got some corn growing in there from the cracked corn that they didn't eat. I threw it in here and it started growing. Hmm. That's good. I'll take it. I'll take it. Raccoon's going to have a little trouble getting in now. If they get in, boy. It's funny. So, I brought that puppy home. I call him Duke. And he is such a good, well-mannered pup. He's probably a year and a half, maybe two years old. And what's good about him, when I was building this fence today, he, I was watching him. And the roosters were out, and the hens were out. He started pointing at them, just like a pointer, like a bird dog. Then I watched him sneak around behind them and heard him back into the garden area and the chicken pen. He actually pushed them and herded them in. I didn't teach him this. This is all instinct from him. I thought that was amazing. I just sat back quietly and watched him do it. He did it several times, not just once. He did it several times. So, that was a good thing. Hopefully, here in the next couple weeks, I'll be working on that. Standing it up, start getting that ready. But I had to stop and do this. You got to protect your chickens. You got to protect your girls. Yep. Look how quiet it is out here. No cars, no people, nothing. And the next thing I'm also going to be working on is down here, 
against there. Now four by fours are actually probably six by six. It's probably just four by fours, and I'm gonna put them across here. There. Rain collection on that side. And on this side. So you figure I could probably get five or six of them. Fifty-five gallon drums and have storage water on hand. Anyways, blessings.